So hello everyone and welcome to the new video and uh, in the last video guys we saw how we can implement email and password login and sign up. Now in this video we are going to talk about how can we implement Google login in our next year's project using Superbase. So without wasting any time let's begin. So okay guys so here you can see I have opened this Google uh, Superbase docs and uh, you can see this the URL I will be putting it in the description so you guys can go and check it out. So inside this page you can see uh, they are telling me how can we implement the OAuth flow for web using Google Google's OAuth. Okay so it is very 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 simple I'm gonna take I'm gonna guys teach you and uh, we're gonna go through every step really quick and really fast. This is not going to be a long video, so without wasting any time, let's begin. So in the last video, guys, I I I I demonstrated how can we implement email and password login, and in this video, I'm going to show you how exactly we can implement Google sign up or login. Okay, so I have already created another function here. It is an empty function yet. I, I it does not have anything. So I'm gonna copy it, and I have created this button here. Just uh, I copied it, I pasted it below here, and uh, I'm gonna replace the function here. So when I click here, I got here. So okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to their docs and I'm gonna copy again, copy something else that they have provided. So I'm gonna copy the whole bunch of code and I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna paste it inside this function. So this is how we're gonna do it. So what is so let's see what it is doing. It is giving us the same superbase that we have called here. Create client component client and um, dot auth sign in with oauth. So here we have the code. I'm gonna replace it with res because that's how we, we are doing it. So I'm gonna copy the, this code once again and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna paste it right below here. Okay, so it is saying it does not exist on, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so, uh, okay, so let's do one thing. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do it this and I'm gonna also log what are we getting inside the res. Okay, so now we have this and uh, I think uh, we can uh, just do, okay, so that's all fine. So before implementing and uh, we cannot just uh, jump to the conclusion and now we can and now come here to our code and click sign in google and it should start working fine it will not first we need to set up and how can we set it up we are going to see in this video so i'm going to come into this auth directory here auth table and i'm going to delete the existing user that i have and i'm going to click on delete user okay so i've deleted it nothing here so it's all clean now i'm going to come to the provider and i've clicked on the provider and when i scroll down i'm i see this google so when i click on this i get a drop down and inside it I'm, i got this uh, Okay, so you can just uh, ignore it. Nothing here, and I think it is just uh, something dummy provided by the superbase. And I think it's a cache of the last project that I'm with. So okay, anyway, so we got this callback URL. So we got to see what where we, where we are going to need it. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna type Google Console. I'm gonna enter it. And this is the second link you can see. Click here. You will be redirected to here. If you're not, then it, you should check in. Check if you're logged in or not. So okay, so if you're if you're logged in, so you you're going to come to this drop down, my first project, and it could be anything. So you're gonna come here and you're gonna click new project. So what is the name of our project? It's next year's superbase. So no organization, okay. So we're gonna click create, and this is created. Just wait for a moment. It is creating. So this is our project. We're gonna click here, and uh, we are on it. Now what we are going to do? We are going to go to the Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to click on this API and services. As soon as we click here, we are redirected to a dashboard. And here you can see we have a bunch of, bunch of options and we are going to go to the important ones. First of all, we are going to go to auth consent screen. And here, <coughs> okay, so here it is uh, asking us what is the user type. It is for now, it is external. If, uh, we cannot keep it internal because uh, we need to make our, uh, only make your app external, general audience also user. Okay, so because you're not a Google Workspace user. Okay, so we're going to click on external, create, and here we can give our app name again it could be next year's superbase underscore app and support email i can give it to like my existing email i'm gonna click here and app logo we can ignore this 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 and uh, also we can ignore this one as well okay so in this we can like give our email email.com so save and continue okay it is giving us some scopes and all it is not required you can just click on save and continue again you can click on save and continue here and consent the screen like you can go this and uh, okay so it is all done now it is all done you can now go to the credentials and inside the credentials we need the oauth 2.0 client id for this we can click on create credentials and here we can click on oauth client id once we click this uh, we will be redirected to a page where we are going to ask application type and it is a web-based application a web client name we can leave it like this authorized redirected uris so when i told you guys on the authentication page this is the callback url that we need for oauth we're going to copy this and we're going to come here and paste it like this so we did this okay so add uri we don't need okay so it is added now and now i'm gonna click create so it may take some time and i will be get back to you guys when it is done okay so guys if you can see here we are done it was pretty quick and now we got our client id and client secret so this is now just very simple you're gonna copy the client id you're gonna come to the authentication superbase and now you're going to paste it in the client id section just like this same for the client secret you're gonna copy it and you're going to put it in client secret section like this and uh this we don't need this uh, we're gonna click save Okay, so as you can see, we have now, uh, okay, so we forgot to enable it. So this is how we can enable it. And now we're going to click save. And uh, 
as you guys can see we have now enabled our uh, google login now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our code and uh, now we are going to implement see how it is working and what is the data we are getting inside the user so i'm going to console.log and i'm going to click user and user so let's see what we are going getting currently it is null because we are not logged in yet so i'm going to come to this page and i'm going to open the application where the cookies will be set i'm going to click on the sign in with google and it is taking me from which account i want to log in and i'm going to choose my account which is this one and it is saying access blocked so okay so this is an important part I, I, I want you guys to see it it is saying that uh, has not completed google verification the app is currently being tested and can be only accessed by developer approved testers so what happened here uh i'm going to click okay and i'm going to go to the um, enable API services uh, library uh, okay so it's not here we're going to come to the credentials and um, okay not here <clears throat> so testing for this app uh, we can like click uh, confirm it uh, Okay, so let's check again. Is it giving us the same error? Let's go back to our page. We refresh it and that is giving us this verification. We can delete it for now. We need it and we're going to click sign in with Google. And uh, now we're again going to click it. And uh, it is now okay. So, as you guys see what I did here, I came to the OAuth consent screen and inside the verification status and below it, public publishing status, it was in the testing in the beginning. So, you guys need to switch it to back uh, in the production, like uh, here, confirm in the testing. And if we guys do this, like we come here and uh, continue it, it will give us the error. So, okay, so inside this testing, uh, public publishing status, we can make it publish app and confirm. So, it will fix the error and verification is not required. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this uh, here and we're going to click on this continue and uh, just wait for some time. <coughs> So we are now logged in, as you can see here inside our localhost. Okay, so it is giving us this error. Okay, so if you guys see, we are not getting our authentication token. We are getting some actually some uh, random values. It is token code verifier still. And here we are getting the code. It is the code that Superbase sets us for uh, to, uh, to exchange it with the current session. So what we missed is below here, the options, we need to redirect users somewhere just like we did with our handle signing up part. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna write options okay so it is already here and i'm gonna write redirect to and then template literals and then inside this i'm gonna write location dot origin and slash call uh, slash auth slash callback just like this and we are done now we can do this again we are going we can like delete this and go back to our login page and now we can refresh it again and uh, if we go and see the authentication users uh, it is showing us that we have logged in but not quite actually like we wanted so what we're going to do is we're going to delete the user now User deleted. We going. To, we are again going to sign with Google. So here we are signed in, and it is asking us to continue. So as soon as we click on continue, you can see we have we now have access token in our in our in our cookies, and we set it up correctly inside. If you go to the user table, you can see it is again the same. So if you guys see, this is like really important for to set the cookies because if you go to this part here, you can you can see that you are setting up the cookies as soon as the Superbase route handler, which is this. Okay, so which is this and uh, as soon as this hits, the cookies will be set to your uh, session. Okay, so this is how we can implement, uh, uh, this is how we can implement, you know, Google signing. So it is not that tough, not that, uh, not that, you know, rocket science thing, very easy to implement and, uh, okay, so that's all. Okay, guys, so in the next video, I'm going to talk about how can we implement the protected routes in our next years using the access token that we are getting in the Superbase, using the session that Superbase is providing us, how can we implement protected routes. So keep on with me and I'm going to meet you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.